On the 8th of June 2021, Korean uploaded the last episode of a series called Third Life, and whilst watching it, something caught my attention. Because I needed to go on the I needed to go on the portal so I could do this. Yo. As Impulse was talking, he took out his fishing rod, used it, and disappeared. It was extraordinary. When we think about teleportation in Minecraft, the first thing that comes to mind is Ender Pearls. And if you know a little bit more about the game, you probably thought about Ender Pearl Stasis Chamber, a pearl floating in water that can be activated by anyone to teleport a player from any distance. Usually, we accept the fact that we have to link it to a button, but in this situation, Impulse has done it out of nowhere, and throughout the series, he would systematically get himself out of problems using this mysterious fishing rod. This trick can change everything about your gameplay and has amazing potential. This is what I like to call the remote stick. To understand how it works, I went to Impulse's V's point of view, and what I saw blew my mind. Seeing how OP this trick is, you'd expect for the setup to be ultra complicated and resource heavy, when in reality, it's just this. And using it is just as easy. Catch the armor stand with your fishing rod, keep it hooked, and enter the nether. Once you come back, you can right click the fishing rod whenever you want to teleport yourself back to the portal, as long as you didn't die or disconnect in the meantime. All of this is pretty cool, but still way too obscure. How does it work? Why is it acting so weird? Let's take a deep dive. Answering these questions requires coding skills, so I got Jerilyn, whose channel you should check out, to dig into the code and understand how it works. So, somehow, when you enter the nether, you're still attached to the entity, and when you right-click, you actually pull the armor stand towards you, moving it out of the pressure plate and closing the trapdoor on the ender pearl. Cool, but why? Okay, so we have the hook. Every game tech, it makes sure you're still here. When you enter the nether, the hook can't find you, and realize it shouldn't be there anymore. So it tells everyone, including the server, to forget about its existence. But it can't actually notify you, since you are at another level. After all of this, the hook disappears in the player's eyes, but actually stays in the code. This is where you come into play. When you come back to the overworld, you still remember the hook, you don't know it's gone. And since the server forgot it, it won't update. Meaning that unless you die or disconnect, you will always be attached to the hook, even if you lose a fishing rod or go super far away. One last thing before we play with this, the chunks have to be loaded when you enter the nether. To make sure it works, you can use a one-sided chunk loader. Nice! Now that we know how and why it works, let's have fun with it! We've seen that teleportation is a great panic tool, just like how Impulse was using it. But we can also use it strategically. Let's say you've hooked your rod to a nanoprocessor chamber and decided to go to the desert to get huge amounts of sand. One problem though, your inventory has a limit, and you didn't get enough sand. Well, if you throw a pearl up in the air, and pull your fishing rod, you will be sent back to your base, where you can store all of your supplies. But what happened to the pearl you just threw? Well, it depends. If the chunk is still loaded, be quick to fill your chest, because your pearl is about to reach the ground. If it isn't, however, you can chill, and even use this time to reset the contraption, because time literally stopped in the desert. When you want to come back, simply approach the desert, and you will be teleported as soon as you load the chunk again. Another similar way to use it is during a fight. If you need to stack up on potions, you can, though your opponent will most likely get a free hit on you when your pearl lands. Overall, this design is great, but I was wondering, what are the fences for? So I removed them, set it up with the fishing rod, and when I right clicked, this happened. Since the pulling strength of a fishing rod is relative to the distance between the owner and the entity hooked, and since there is nothing stopping you from going miles away, you can launch things at blistering speed. One of the funniest things to do with this is sending mobs into the stratosphere. And doing it is super easy. Hook the mob, enter the nether, come back, and then go super far up. Then, when you feel like it, pull them and watch them flash through your screen on their way to heaven. Oh, by the way, did you know that iron golems don't take fall damage? Anyway, this is a very funny tool, and we can once again use it to our advantage. If you do it with boats on ice at the height limit, pulling it from anywhere will make it drop from the sky to right in front of you. You can make any mob drive the boat, and it will still work. It could be a llama with some loot, or an enderman to scare off your friends. Another use of the insane pull strength would be with an anvil to get it infinitely high. I wonder if it would work with ripstones. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm 
What? Have I done something wrong? It... It doesn't work. Maybe with the pearl? Not even. Oh my. Mojang fixed the glitch for 1.17. And now I'm here, with a three pages long script on an obsolete trick. At this point, I just wanted to give up, find a new video ID, and get moving. But I couldn't. Whenever I tried, I could not stop thinking about all the potential this glitch still had, and how this new version isn't even that good. So I came back to it, and with a clear goal, making it so interesting and useful that 1.17 wouldn't even be worth playing. And that's when I realized, this trick is not only a way to launch mobs around or teleport yourself, it's also wireless redstone. You heard me right, using this glitch we can get wireless redstone, and that's basically what we've been doing with teleportation. Except we're gonna try making it easier to use, starting with the armor stand. Every time we use the machine, we need to break and replace the armor stand. We don't want that. Also, we want an easy output from the contraption, and finally, it has to be compact. I went through multiple designs, some were good, others were interesting, and I ended up sticking with this one. It's pretty small, accessible, and can even be changed to only work in certain directions. Great, now onto some uses. I've been throwing around the term wireless redstone a lot, but what does that exactly mean? Well, you see this ugly line used to fire a rocket? We can remove it, and it would still work. One downside though is that you can only use it once before having to reset it, but a satisfaction that comes from activating something out of nowhere makes up for it. You probably guessed it, it's a good way to show off redstone machines, such as a huge redstone door or a noteblock song you've been working on. It's overall a good way to activate things and surprise your friends with, and why not use it for very special occasions? Something huge we didn't really explore yet is the fact that you are the only player able to use this machine. This is perfect to hide a base behind a piston door that no one else can open. And it's also super simple. Here is how I've done it. Since you always open the door from this direction, I could make the armor stand device more compact. And for the door, I went for a very simple trap door. Anyway, these are a few applications. You thought I was done, but this glitch has a whole other facet. The next few tricks will be entirely based on chaos. Please, do not reproduce what I'm about to show you, unless you're 100% sure others are okay with it. This innocent fishing rod can be super dangerous, and here's a quick example of this. Place the TNT minecart, dig two blocks down in a cross shape, catch the TNT, enter the nether, and come back. You can now cover the hole. You've just placed literal C4 in Minecraft, and can activate it whenever you want by pulling the fishing rod. If you've raked someone's space with this, you can threaten them at an absurd level. Tell them that if they do anything wrong, you will right-click and destroy all their hard work. I know a green man who would love this tool. And not only on this SMP. During a manhunt, Dream could set up a trap to blow up all of the hunters out of the blue. Even better yet, using the armor stand design, he could also link the fishing rod to an ender pulse AC chamber in order to make sure he's safe during the explosion. These uses are evil, but I felt like I needed to include them. Hopefully, I haven't started something bad. This is all I could come up with, but I know for a fact people can find other crazy things to do with this. The potential is incredible, and the concept so refreshing. I found it sad that Mojang fixed it, but I can understand. The glitch is clearly overpowered. I really want to thank you all for the feedback on my last video. The support has just been mental and I hope we can push this channel further. This is why I made a Discord! You can join it now by clicking the link in the description. Anyway, do what you're gonna do, it has been nice to you. Have a good one.